tell uh, us. We would like to know why you would not want to take that fight. Um, I think Nigeria is best served with two champions. And uh, if I ever have to take that fight, um, it's going to be if I have all the belts, he has the other belts, and there's just a growing call for us to fight. And by then, the only reason we'll fight each other is maybe in Nigeria, and we'll have to get, like, rematch. We're going to rematch ourselves to death, you know? So <laughs> that's what we're going to do. But for me to just fight him as a contender on my way up, eh, probably not. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I know you both are good friends. How did it feel for AY to be in your uh, to be at your fight, supporting and rooting for you, even came into the ring after your bout and was doing his usual <laughs> leg walk. And let me also rope this question into this because um, I might have to hand over to Raymond right after this question. Mm -hmm. Nigerian basketball teams, the Tiger and the Tigress, have had their outings at the ongoing Tokyo 2020. Uh, you are an avid basketballer yourself. Um, can you tell us what you feel about their outings? Um, starting with AY, you know, I've known AY for a few, I think a few months. Um, I spoke to him a few times when I was, when he was in Nigeria. Uh, I actually connected with AY with my friend, uh, who's in California. Um, and, uh, we just kind of hit it off from there, you know, and he's, he's a good dude, man. You know, we hung out a few times when, was, when he was here in Miami. I took him to some of the local spots that I go to party. You know, met up with a few friends, introduced him with a few friends. Um, he um, introduced me to um, Papa, what's his name? Um, the short actor. Um, Osita Yeme. Osita Yeme, you know, I, because of AY, I met Osita Yeme. I met RMD, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm having good contact with those people now, you know. I guess, um, I guess that was when they were shooting Christmas in Miami. Yeah, yeah, they were shooting a movie here. You, have, you haven't met to Jazzy, but he does follow you, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm actually, yeah, I, I do. We follow each other, me and Don Jazzy. Uh, he's actually good, you know. I've met him with through a few of my other friends. Is he a sports um, fan? Nigeria. I don't know. I, obviously, Nigerians are Nigerians will be sports fans as long as other Nigerians are competing, you know. <laughs> it's a pride thing for us. Um, so yeah, it was good for him to come to my come to the fight to support. You know, I think his presence elevated the um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for. Uh, his presence elevated the quality of our of my boxing in terms of uh, taking it out to the streets and just getting people to be interested. Um, him being at events alone, you know, people that were there that were all Nigerians also. You know, they had. Uh, um they had a, an inclination to participate and they were happier to be there you know they were excited for the event they were um you know there was more dancing at the event there was a, a really good dj that was playing songs and after uh what's his name big c charles he's actually also nigerian so you know there was a lot of um happiness and nigerian dancing and you know fun at the event just because ay was there you know he's a comedian he's an actor he's an entertainer as a person so, you know, he actually raised the level of the event and, you know, I'm actually blessed to know him. And uh, what was the other question you were asking me about Nigerian basketball and the, the women? I think Nigerian basketball is heading to a good place, you know. Um, Mike Brown is the coach of the Nigerian basketball team, so he's brought a lot of, uh, he brought a lot of the NBA players who are now comfortable with um playing their own game and actually elevating the profile of nigerian basketball i actually saw the game where we played against germany it was a tie to tie game i mean there were many runs nigeria made a run germany made a run we did blow up i think we blew a 10 point lead um jordan wara was actually the man of the match because he was just scoring without you know <laughs> without conscience <laughs> You know, and, uh, you know, I think Nigerian basketball is on its way up. You know, hopefully we can maintain that level and not go back to the corruption that we're known for. And the women also, you know, unfortunately, they didn't let the Ogumike sisters play. I think if the uh, if the Ogumike sisters played, you know, in that country, and yeah, I think if they had played, we would have absolutely won the gold medal. But the powers that be would not let them play for Nigeria because they've been American for so long which to me was ridiculous, but you know, it is what it is.
Oh, the the women are, are playing tonight, though. I'm gonna be watching it. Will you be watching it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of the sisters is actually playing. playing now. I think her name is Erica Ogumike. She was allowed to play because she hasn't been involved in the United States basketball for some time. But I still, I'm still hurting and I'm still angry that uh, the other two sisters are not allowed to play because uh, I really, I strongly believe that if they were allowed to play, it would have been a would have been gold medalist to women's basketball in in the world. Wow, you know that's amazing. Um, looking at uh, yeah, mm, now, well, do you have any exact? Do you know any? Do you have any exact date you be you know fighting next, or you just like just waiting and explore your options options for now? Um, I do uh, have. An how many? Date. How many? How many times are you fighting this year? Once, um, twice. I I, this year I already fought four times, you know, which is a lot for a pandemic period, you know. Um, the goal was to fight eight times this year, but uh, right now we might have to settle for six or seven. Um, I'm not going to be fighting the month of August. That's not going to happen because I just kind of want to take the, the month off and just focus on work and other things and family and other things. And uh, I want, I'm trying to get back into the ring September, I believe September 22 or 25, one of those Saturdays. I believe it's September 25 um, in South Carolina. I'm going to try to get in the ring on that one. I don't have the details of what the opponent will be like yet. And I'm also going to be in the ring again in November, November 6th of 2021. Um, possibly also in December. And, you know, then we just kind of go from there. You know, but that's about it. Thanks a lot. I do appreciate you being here and really like it's, it's been fun so far. I mean, I don't want to let you go, but I have to because it's time for you to like uh, do some other things as well. Uh, yeah. What is your, you know, your message to Nigerians watching right now, to Africans watching and to boxing fans in general? Um, just keep the faith, you know, um, you know, things are going to get better. You know, we couldn't give, we can't give hope on our country. I know things are not what we expect it to be or where it's supposed to be. Uh, use the power that you have and demand more out of your leaders and demand more in terms of accountability. You know, uh, we also have to remember that in as much as we like to blame the government for everything, we are the government. You know, the people where the go democracy is government of the people, for the people and by the people. And we make the government. You know, the corruption that we all yell that is by the government, we are corrupt in our own little ways, you know, and just let's try to treat each other with some whatever respect and decency, you know. And, uh, you know, I hope our country gets better from, I just, we just pray that only good news comes out of our country from now on, you know, and let's try to make our country proud in the little way that we can and treat our brothers the right way. And that will extend to, um, that will extrapolate itself. That makes sense. Yeah, we still have two years left before, <laughs> but before something fresh and new coming. So, uh, two, two long but, years, Sadat. <laughs> <laughs> <You know what? laughs> two long years. Uh, well, we can, like I said, you know, let's try to use the power that we have and demand more. Because at the end of the day, the government, they are employees, they're not our employers, and we have to demand better from them. You know, and also let's try to be better people ourselves. You know, because at the end of the day, we are the government. You know, there are more people in Nigeria waiting to steal that are stealing. That's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's, that's, that's true. true. that's the problem. <laughs> people, <laughs> man. while I do, that is what. Wahala day. Okay. Um, your message to boxy block set of fans. Um. Yeah. Well, Boxing Block fans, you know, keep watching. Uh, obviously, Raymond here has done a good job of building his profile to help us and give us our own level of uh, credibility and uh, popularity. You know, and uh, we appreciate what he's done for Nigerian boxing. Though to him, it might be small, but, you know, um, to the boxers, it's a big thing because, you know, we don't... Um, people like, I would say, maybe me, NFA, or any other smaller Nigerian boxers, wherever they are in the world, you know, they wouldn't really have any um, level of media coverage, if not for these guys and what they do. Though they see it as a small thing, you know, we actually know it's kind of a big thing, you know, 
And uh, just keep watching, keep supporting, keep following. I mean, it's, to click follow is not hard. In this social media, they don't pay us like that. We don't use our color money. So to follow somebody should not be that hard. If I follow you today, it doesn't take away from the money I was supposed to earn. So the least you can do for stuff like this is just click a follow, click a like, and click a subscribe. And I mean, it's information that you can choose to um, to to ignore or choose to accept, you know, but the least you can do is just follow and have the option to, you know, watch and subscribe and like or, you know, appreciate, you know. So that's all I got to say. Also, follow me on Instagram, you know. Yeah, follow Rafa Akpajero on follow. Instagram right here. We need to get you to also. 10K though. You know, you need to, you need to, <laughs> yeah, 10K. And also, your account needs to be verified. You know, your page needs to be verified. Like, so many things you can do to verify. I don't really care about all those stuff, you know. I mean, yeah, but it, I mean, but it has to be. Follow. It has to be because you're, you're a celebrity right now. Like, you've been a celebrity all your, I'm, I'm saying age 20, right? You've been... It's 16. It's 16, yeah, you see? So... Yeah. It's like uh, it's time. It's time for it to be verified. You know that time will come. You know it will happen when it's supposed to happen. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, the least you can do is click a follow button. You know, they know they we know they collect money for this for this social media team. <laughs> you know, so yeah, man, just support, like, you know, appreciate us, and one day we can hopefully make y'all proud. All right, guys, you heard it from our brother, uh, Raphael, the Nigerian Hurricane Akbajori. I want to I want to say thanks to each and every one of you for supporting this channel right here. For those of you guys who are liking the video right now, keep liking it, keep sharing it. And you know, here is where you get the latest news and authentic ones as well. Uh, Isioma, do you have anything to add to it, brother? Yeah, um, I'd just like to thank Ralph. a great day. By the way, I've been following you for a while. I think I started following you before I got to meet Brian Raymond, before I got to know Boxing Block Center. And okay. it's such, yeah, it's so hard thumping to know that we have Nigerians dominating combat sports now. Um, yeah. we, we can only hope that in the boxing scene and the heavyweight now, we will have Nigerians having their waist you know, strapped with practically all of the sanctioning belts. I mean, it would be it would be such um, a great feeling that you cannot put words to. Thank you so very much for gracing this interview. Um, you're very personable, I must tell you, and I do pray that um, you rise to the very top of the division. Thank you for your time and all your efforts and keep following and I thank you for supporting.